Hello students, today we are going to study about the ear. Ear as an organ for hearing as well as a balancing organ. So, hearing we could understand that ear is doing the function of hearing. But how does it help in balancing of the body or how it acts as a balancing organ? So, in this chapter, we will discuss about the structural details that uh, each and every part of the ear uh, what are the parts in which the ear is divided and what is the role of each part of that uh, internal ear role of uh, each part of the internal ear uh, will study in this chapter and uh, how the sensory movement or the audio waves it is transmitted uh, from the sensory organ to the brain and the messages are then received from the brain that this is the um, uh, this is the frequency that we have we can hear and uh, what are the messages or what are the audio waves that we uh, that our pinna or this external ear is receiving so all these details we are going to study in this chapter and um, I in uh, during this class I will tell you few questions or probable questions which could be um, asked in the in, uh, examination so let's start now in this section uh, parts of the ear ear is uh, again divided into three parts outer ear middle ear and ear, um, the inner one uh, from here we can some we could see the outer one which is the pinna pinna is the vestigial organ which is uh, now in uh, not in use but in ancient time or in primitive uh, man or monkey it was useful so on the basis of use and disuse some of the organs are uh, termed as vestigial like uh, appendicitis or appendix in the intestine uh, pinna is a vestigial organ till now the use or function of this external ear is not known uh, it may sometimes uh, it is considered as it uh, just ear it converges the waves, um, waves and it makes it enter into the uh, cavity or that auditory, auditory canal from the auditory canal it enters to the uh, area which is the middle part of the ear and uh, it is having three tiny bones. Uh, with the help of a diagram I will explain you all these uh, structures and the probable questions also. So three tiny diagram, tiny bones or the ear ossicles. The tiny bones are malleus, incus and stapes. These are the or tiny bones or if the question is asked about name the tiny bone in the human body so that tiny bone is uh, ear ossicle which is malleus incus and stapes now then it then the vibration or the waves it gets transmitted to the innermost part of the ear or that is the inner ear it is having three major part semicircular canal vestibule and cochlea so and this section is mainly concerned with hearing uh, from here the hearing part the body balance everything is managed here so when we say that um, hearing so hearing is the transmission of waves waves from the pinna is transmitted through the auditory canal it is transmitted through, through the waves to the inner ear and from this it is uh, sent to the brain through the auditory nerves. Now this section that is the vestibule section it is again concerned with the body balance. Uh, body balance that is the dynamic balance, dynamic balance when we move, we are writing, we are moving or just throwing a ball. So this all action while moving is it requires a balance. So that motion when we are in motion that balance is uh, by the vestibule if we are said that you have to stand straight or uh, stand still so that standing still again requires a balance of the body and that balance is also the role played by the ear in this uh, static balance so let's discuss now the outer section or outer ear it comprises two main parts that is pinna and auditory canal or passage it leads to a membrane or membrane in which on which the waves they 
strike on and create the vibration that is further transmitted. So that transmission initiates from the eardrum. So this passage ends into the eardrum. From the pinna, a passage, auditory passage continues and at the end of this passage is the eardrum, it, uh, vibe, um, thin membrane on which the waves strike on and create vibration. Just from this, there is an area which is termed as eustachian tube. U, eustachian tube. And this is an area which connects the ear passage to the throat area. So this is a connection between ear passage and throat. Now the questions related to the portion that we have studied till now. The first question is um, what are the three parts of ear? So three parts outer, middle and inner ear. Then about each part what are the areas in the outer part or in middle part or inner part. Then the next question would be uh, what do you mean, uh, what is define the term or explain the term eustachian tube. So eustachian tube is or exact location sum. In uh, biology the questions are basically uh, give the exact location of this and the function. So for the exact location what is the exact location of eustachian tube? Exact location of eustachian tube is it is present behind the eardrum or it is a bar or in between eardrum and the middle ear. It is a passage which connects or it is an area which connects the ear and the throat. So that it is a connection between the function is connecting ear with the throat is the of you station due. So these questions you can write it down. The question that name the three parts of ear. The, describe the parts of each um, segment that is the outer ear, middle ear and ear, inner ear. Then exact location of eustachian tube, exact location, location of eardrum. Exact location is at the end of the uh, auditory canal. Roll vibration and um, the waves strike on the eardrum and it causes vibration. So these questions you can write down. Now next is the middle ear. Middle ear it comprises three main regions or three tiny moles, malleus, incus and the stapes. Sorry students in the previous uh, part I have written M-A-L-E-U-S so it is M-A-L-L. -L. So we will do the correction. Malleus, incus and stapes. Malleus is the hammer. This is also known as hammer anvil and stirrup as you have seen in the from in the starting of the video that hammer is there hammer in our ear so that hammer is this tiny bone it is considered as hammer as it strikes on the other bone um, bone and transmits the wave so that striking action it causes a striking action so that's why it is hammering or hammer word is used for malleus then incus is anvil and stapes is stirrup. So, uh, the shape of uh, the stapes is on the horse riders. They uh, insert the shoe in that area. So that is stirrup. So the, that stirrup. Role of these three is Peleus transmits waves by hammering to the incus. Then it is transmitted to the stapes. And this stape transmits the vibration to a like this is the stapes in the dike uh, hammer then anvil and it is again connected to the this uh, to the stirrup so this three bones these three bones are again connected to a section which is termed as vestibule vestibule this vestibule is having an opening here there is an opening where the stirrup gets fitted so this opening is covered with a thin membrane and this opening is termed as oval window oval window 
Now one more window is there which is not visible in from the front. It is present just near this and that window is, I am making it here only, it is the round window, round window. This window is also, this window is connected, uh, is a connection between the inner and the middle ear or the region of inner ear and the middle ear. This, uh, these two are connected through the round window. So, exact location, now the location of malleus in the sense chair. Location of malleus is, it is just after located. It's one end is um, touched with the eardrum uh, and then it is just after the malleus stirrup. It is just after the end with uh, fitted in the round in the oval window. Now the round um, window, round window it is located in the vestibule. It is covered with a thin membrane and it is a, um, it is a connection of inner ear with the middle ear. So these, um, these are the questions that could be asked. What is the hammer in ear? So hammer is malleus. Uh, anvil, the incus. Stirrup, it is stapes. Where they are located? Um, exact location. And the function. Function is transmission of waves from ear drum to the vestibule or to the inner ear. So that is the function of these three tiny bones. Next one is the inner ear or membranous labyrinth. So the name, you must remember the name which is membranous labyrinth and the three part of this membranous labyrinth that is semicircular canal then vestibule cochlea so all these are the three structures exact location function is very important for this these three parts so the um, first the semicircular canal these are the tubular structures which is present on the vestibule so just if uh, this with a rough diagram these three uh, semicircular canals are present and as I have already shown you the diagrammatic representation, each semicircular canal ends into an ampulla. So these ampulla, they are having sensory cells. Sensory cells, now these sensory cells are responsible for the dynamic balance of the body. As they are, as these are this part of the vestibule that is the utriculus. Utriculus is the upper part, so utriculus is the ampulla is um, present in the utriculus portion. This utriculus is connected with the auditory nerves, and from there, the uh, dynamic balance of the body is maintained through the uh, response or um, uh, waves sent through to the brain by these sensory cells. Now, the next is. Vestibule. vestibule. Vestibule is the utriculus and sacculus. So exact location. Utriculus is just below the uh, semicircular canal. Sacculus it is just above the cochlea. So here the this portion is the sacculus. This portion is utriculus. Sacculus is present in this region. And cochlea it is having three compartments. Three compartment as I have shown you already the diagrammatic representation in that I have mentioned that it is having three uh, compartments. Each compartment the in the middle compartment that is organ of the sensory cells, organ of cortia, cortia are present on the bacillar membrane. Organ of cortia location function. So location is it is present on the bacillar membrane of the middle um, middle lumen and that is uh, these cells are responsible for sending auditory waves or auditory messages to the through the nerves to the brain so that response it is sent to the brain through this ampulla 
Now this is the next to the cochlear. Cochlear is the spiral structure which is present in the inner ear. Spiral is a spiral structure is two and half turns. So two and half turns in the cochlear. Half turns. Auditory nerves they receive uh, impulses from this portion that is from the utriculus, from this cochlear region that is the saccharus. So vestibule, collectively it is the vestibule. From vestibule it transmits messages um, in the form that uh, the waves or auditory waves. It is sent in the form of messages through the auditory nerves to the brain. So this is this complete response system uh, works through semicircular canal, vestibule and cochlea. The main role of cochlea is um, or the, uh, this portion. This portion is for the dynamic balance. Saccharus or this um, saccharus is for the static balance. That is stationary when we are standing still, when we are at rest. So that stationary position it is maintained by the saccharus. Utricles for dynamic balance through these ampulla in the cells or in the ampulla. So dynamic balance, uh, utricles and saccharus for the uh, static balance. Cochlea is mainly concerned with the hearing. Now the questions related to uh, all these that we have studied for the first part. I have already mentioned the few questions about that. In a second question would be oh, about oval window where it is located. Oval window and round window. Oval window where it is located what is its function. So oval window and the stirrup is attached to the oval window. It transmits the some waves or the vibration from stirrup is mentioned is transmitted to the vestibule through that oval window. Round window, it is again a connection between middle ear and inner ear. So that uh, function. Then here from this section only uh, also various questions could be formed. What is the role of ampulla, cochlea, which or uh, just uh, questions uh, are asked for the odd one type. So and uh, or just uh, the match type like uh, this uh, same cochlea is concerned with hearing then semicircular canal semicircular canal is for dynamic balance. So which part is uh, then uh, about the dynamic and static the questions could be asked. So then these questions auditory nerves role of auditory nerves where they are present auditory nerves they are present in the um, they are attached to the Utriculus has as saccharus, they receive the nerves or um, impulses from the inner ear and send it to brain. So the, all the, um, this type of questions would be asked. It may be in the uh, fill in the blanks type or uh, match the following or urban out. So these pairings could be done, but the function it should be under. You have to write down the location and function of each and every part. So it is very important just you can uh, put a star mark on this um, these topics that location and function of uh, tympanum that is the uh, auditory canal uh, sorry tympanum eardrum then uh, all the three bones medius incus tips then uh, role of oval window round window saccharus utriculus semicircular canal cochlea so the, their function their location is very very important. Now in this I will uh, explain the three compartments. With the help of the diagram I am explaining the three compartments in the cochlea and uh, with the help of that um, diagram only I will explain you all the terms and their role in the ear. So this uh, so that it would be easier for you to understand. One more question I forgot to tell you that um, sequence Whenever it is asked, write in a proper sequence. So when we are uh, writing about the sequence, I will explain you in the diagram only that when it is from outer to inner, it should be uh, pinna, then auditory canal, then eardrum, then stapes, malleus, incus, cochlea. So this sequence, if it is, uh, if the example is from outside to inner, then you have to notice that it is always from outer organ to inner one or inner to outside. So if it is um, inside to outside, 
then cochleas uh, basically the question would be from outside to inner that is spinna the auditory canal eardrum malleus incus stapes cochlea so this sequence you have to remember the sequence correct square sequence of the transmission of waves so this is very important now with the help of this diagram i'll explain you now students as you can see in this diagram this is the diagram of the ear uh, in this diagram it is represented all the parts of the ear that is inner outer and middle ear so i have tried uh, to show you all the different parts in a simplified manner so like this you can see this is the pinna it leads to the ear canal that is the auditory canal now this structure this structure is the eardrum if this eardrum is connected to this hammer shaped structure that is the malleus so when the uh, auditory waves or uh, the sound waves enter uh, the pinna it passes through the ear canal it it just causes vibration on the eardrum then to um, this re results in hammering of ma malleus to the anvil so this incus or anvil then this message is or the vibration are amplified and sent it to the sent to the um, next part that is the stapes now this complete section this is the cochlea the spiral structure is the cochlea in this structure this is the membranous labyrinth or inner ear it is having three semicircular canals ending into a round structure or a swollen base that is the ampulla which contains sensory structures so as you can see here it is having uh, this uh, swollen bases that is the ampulla or uh, ampulla with the sensory cells these semicircular canals are arranged at right angles to each other this they are so arranged that one is uh, vertical two or vertical and one is horizontal in arrangement now you in this you can see that these waves these waves auditory nerves they take and these nerves take the messages from the uh, inner ear and send it to the brain so the arrangement of ear arrangement of the sequence of parts in the ear is pinna ear canal this ear drum malleus incus stapes semicircular canal this is the vestibule which contain the upper part is the utriculus lower part is the sacculus then cochlea these are the auditory nerves now one more this structure this is the eustachian tube eustachian tube is the connection of ear to the throat now in this diagram i have tried to simplify the structure of cochlea so that it would be easier for you to understand the structure of cochlea cochlea as you can see it is a two and half turn structure spiral arrangement just like a snail shell it and the um, these canals are divided into three uh, compartments the first one is the vestibular canal the middle is the median canal and the third one is tympanal so vestibular median tympanal all three compartments are present in the cochlea now try to understand with the help of this compartments in the or uh, showing the inner cavity of the cochlea as you can see these are the three compartments upper one is the vestibular middle is the median canal third one is the tympanal these the middle canal one mem a membrane is present that is the basilar membrane on which sensory cells are present that is uh, these sensory cells are termed as organ of cochlea one more structure you can see this is the tectorial membrane which helps in transmission of auditory waves in the form of impulses to the nerves auditory nerves so and uh, here you can see these organ and the sensory cells are connected to the auditory nerves so the structure all these structures are very important for labeling type of question the question may be asked 
identify the structure so the structure is the um, compartment or sectional view of the cochlea then what are the labelings it may be uh, given well, label 1 2 3 so 1 is vestibular 2 is median and 3 is the temporal then what is the role of 2 in this structure so 2 is having organ of cauti or the sensory cells in um, which is responsible for transmission of uh, waves to or the vibrations to the auditory nerves so this is inner cavity of cochlea which i have tried to simplify with the with the help of these diagrams as you all know that due to lockdown it is very difficult to uh, do arrangement but uh, student i have tried to uh, simplify all these structures so that it would be easier for you to understand so these are the three structures of the cochlea showing the inner cavity then in this the it is the structure of cochlea showing that the how the spiral arrangement is to um, about two and a half turn then in the inner the structure of uh, ear uh, showing the all the three parts these two uh, up to this it is the outer this uh, up to this it is the middle ear middle ear and this part is the inner ear so all three parts roll roll this is for conversing converging the auditory waves or the sound waves to um, to enter into this ear canal ear canal simply the passage for transmission eardrum vibration in eardrum causes amplification of the waves or sound waves this is then passed on or the simple role is just the transmission so this waves are transmitted to the malleus then to incus then to stirrup and after this from the stirrup it is sent to the cochlea where it is received by the organ of cauti then sent to the auditory so the main organ which is responsible for hearing is the cochlea all these structures are responsible for transmission of waves only structure which is responsible for hearing is the cochlea next this portion vestibule and uh, semicircular canals they are responsible the upper bone the semicircular canal and the utriculus they are responsible for the dynamic balance of the body that when the body is motion is in motion and uh, um, saculus is responsible for maintaining the static static balance that when the body is at rest so all these structures we have studied about the detailed structure of this uh, in uh, ear hope you have understood this